Does a battery need a fuse? The answer is absolutely. Hey everyone, I'm Kiki. Battery short circuit can cause an instantaneous current exceeding 1000 amps. At the very least, it can damage the equipment. At worst, it can pose a fire risk. A fuse is like your bodyguard, cuts off the power at the critical moment. You can see that the fuse in my hand is 200 amps. So, it is suitable for batteries with a continuous discharge current of 200 amps or less. There are three specific points. One, the current value should be greater than the normal working current of the device, but not too much. Two, use a fast blow type, which can immediately cut off in case of a short circuit. Three, choose a certified one, which is reliable and reassuring. It is recommended that the fuse's rated current equals BMS continuous current times 1.1 to 1.25. For example, 200 amps times 1.25 equals 250 amps. If your electrical equipment, such as a high power inverter or motor, has a normal operating current of around 180 amps to 190 amps, then a 200 amps fuse is just right. The fuse can protect the circuit without false tripping. If the BMS continuous output is 200 amps, it is recommended to use a 225 amps or 250 amps ANL fuse. The BMS is the last line of defense, but its response time may be 20 to 50 milliseconds slower than that of the fuse. Double protection ensures absolute safety. Let's connect and see with a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. Don't underestimate this step. A tiny fuse can bring about great safety. The fuse must be installed as close as possible to the positive terminal of the battery. Installing it over a long distance will lose its protective effect. If you're unsure what fuse to pick, drop your setup in the comments. Kiki will help you out. Make sure to follow me for more cool tips. See you next time.